So this is a video on a uh, a firearm of a friend. They let me check it out. Um, I think about buying off of them. It is a Beretta uh, 92A1. And let me uh, safety check it. Keep the uh, camera angle. Anyway, safety check. And, uh, anyway, it was it, and I guess it was, uh, I like it. I might pick it up. They put on some, uh, Hogue, uh, new Hogue grips with, uh, finger grooves in them. Uh, I guess what they told me about it was they liked it pretty much like a 92A1, uh, 92, I guess a couple updates from the 90 dash to include it. Um, they changed the uh, hammer on there, skeletonized hammer. Uh, I think that's the only thing they changed. I think they also changed the uh, hammer spring in there, bring the uh, the batch of trigger pull down. Uh, one thing they told me was it was difficult to find holsters for this particular firearm. So they ended up buying the factory Beretta uh, holster, uh, Kydex powder holster. If I can do this from sitting behind the camera in here. So this is it in the Kydex holster from Beretta. I apologize for some of these angles. Yeah, so there uh, are tension screws here. So you can update the tension on it. I mean, uh, increase or Decrease the tension on it, the retention on it. So, it says uh, pretty lightweight. It says factory uh, holster from Beretta. And you see the logo there. I believe it's a Trident. And they also bought the official, uh, I believe this is a, this from Beretta? I can't, uh, that's a good question. I think this is a, uh, Okay, now, they, I believe this is a DeSantis uh, thumb brake holster for it, pancake holster. I think they don't quite have it broken in yet. But it's a thumb brake holster for it. Uh, you see they took the retention screw out. Uh... I believe it's, they haven't really used this one that much. Um, I think they need a new uh, holster belt. Something uh, that I believe the one they had kind of twisted a lot on them. So uh, it gets a little hard to draw it and reholster it. I think you have to kind of hold it to draw it out. So I guess the point of having a sturdier holster, I mean, a sturdier belt. Yeah. Don't break. I believe they left it in the holster trying to break it in. I don't need to use enough to kind of break it in well enough. Still kind of tight. But again, so. That, and then I guess uh, one more quick review, a little show and tell, is the. There's a pistol rub for it. And this one is in. Let's see if I can get it. Uncle Mike's. Uh, I apologize. I don't have a camera. So I'm kind of using uh, <laughs> what I have around here. So, a large Uncle Mike's uh, pistol rug. So, let's see. Kind of what it looks like inside of there. Uh, has some more space. I guess you could maybe squeeze a mag in there with it and take it to the range. Uh, not sure. Maybe maybe kind of squeeze one over there. I don't know. You can maybe squeeze two of them in there. Uh, 
like a kind of tight fit trying to zip that down. But you, I guess you could have a mag in it, one there and one laying here. And you can take three mags with you. I believe this comes with three mags. So I'll get that if I decide to purchase this off of them or not. Uh, anyway. That's just a quick show and tell of the, uh, mainly for the holsters, uh, for the uh, Beretta 92A1. So pretty much the uh, 9mm with a rail, comes with a 317 round mag. I think there are plenty of videos on that already. Uh, I guess you can look it up. Uh, these uh, grips were comfortable. Um, didn't add too much thickness to it. Use in my opinion, you know. I so say your mileage may vary, but there it is. Burr 92 with the factory Kydex and the holster and the DeSantis pancake uh, thumb brake holster. And you can carry it uh, you know, straight, I guess, can it. What they call the FBI can't or whatever or straight with the uh, belt loops. So anyway, hope that was helpful to somebody. You guys have a good day.